Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today I am going to stuff $635 into mostly sinking funds and a couple of cash funds. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I'd really appreciate if you'd hit subscribe down below. I'm trying really hard to get to 500 subscribers. My channel is about my personal budget. It is about my spending plans. It is about my monthly bills. It is about my investing, about stuffing, savings challenges. If any of those sound of interest to you, I'd really appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, thank you! I appreciate that you have come back to spend a little bit more of your time with me. So let's get into this. I will probably be doing some of the envelopes multiple times. This $635 comes from three different things. So part of this is my spending plan for my paycheck. Part of this, I receive a mileage check, so that's part of this. And then the third part of this is from my daughter. We pay uh, one of her bills, we pay two of her bills, just because she's still on those policies. Because of that, we she gives me the money for them and then I use it as sinking fund money. So let's get started. All right, the first one we're going to jump to is debt pay down. So I have actually changed up how I am doing my sinking funds. So I have way too many sinking funds. I probably have like 40 sinking funds here. Way, way, way too many. Um, I have decided recently that for a little while anyways, I'm going to try to pay down some debt as quickly as I can. Um, had to, well, I didn't have to, I chose to get a new car recently after being in an accident. Because of that, my debt has now increased. I am feeling way uncomfortable and because of that I am shifting, stuffing a whole lot of sinking funds and now looking at debt pay down. So we're going to start by putting a hundred dollars into debt pay down. This is coming from my check. So we're going to hit this envelope a couple of times so I'm actually just going to leave it out for a little bit. Um, so today, can't think of the date. We're going to add 100. There was 525. So that should give us with 625. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 25. That's correct. Now, one thing about debt pay down, um, I have been waiting to make a payment on the RV. Our banking system has gone haywire. Right now, it is all offline. Um, I could go in and do this, but instead I'm just gonna wait for it all to come back up, and once it does, then I will take care of paying that down. But I know that I'm gonna do this again, so it's just gonna sit right there for a minute. Emergency is next on my list. See, they're not in order either, which drives me insane. All right emergencies this I have both a cash fund and well sinking fund and a savings challenge for emergencies and that's because I know that emergencies are going to come up before I fund the emergency fund the way I really really want to so we're going to start by putting $30 in here today so let me dig in. Um, I made my envelopes. If you're interested how there is a link below on how I made my envelopes. Basically it was cardstock, tape, and permanent markers. Um, it was pretty simple and easy. It allowed me to make as many as I wanted to. I actually have way too many envelopes, which is what encouraged me to have way too many sinking funds. All right, so there was 200 plus 30. Now it gives me 230. Um, I do have money in the bank. That's what these are, my fake $100 bills. So 200, 20, 30. Again, emergencies is really just going to stay out because I know that I'm going to be using it for some of what I got for my daughter as well as my mileage. And I'm doing them separately because that's how I have them in my book over here. All right, so emergency is done. So those really are all of the sinking funds that I'm going to stuff. I am going to jump back and grab my savings challenge envelope. Now, I, because I made the envelopes, I actually reused them. This used to be one that was for me, um, but I've changed it into a savings challenge envelope instead. So I try to stash money in here and then all at once, then I will fill and color in all of my nice savings challenge sheets. So, all right, so... Nickel's going to get 
$20. This is my emergency. There was nothing in there. I'm going to jump back to my $1 challenge. My $1 challenge is all about Christmas. I'm trying to save $1,300 for Christmas, so I am doing the 52 week savings challenge where you start with a dollar and then you increase it every month or every week. So one Christmas challenge is getting a $10 bill. There was already some in here. And then the last one that I am going to stuff money in is my saved $2,022 in 2022. All of this is going towards a one month ahead fund. So we're gonna grab a $20 bill from there, stick it back here. And just like emergencies and debt pay down, they're just gonna stay right here for a minute because I know that I'm gonna use those again. All right, so we mark all of those off on my check sheet over here. Now let's back up and do my what I get from my daughter. So we pay her car insurance because she just hasn't moved off of our policy. We also pay her cell phone. So those two things combined, she gives us some money for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is pet. Although we are no longer pet sitting her lovely darling, my husband has an addiction to feeding the birds. Uh, because of that, we go through bird food a little too fast. So we're gonna add some money into pet. All right, and 15. I don't track this. This is one of my cash funds. I don't track it. I probably should. There seems to be a lot in here, which means I have not bought pet food recently or um, bird food recently, which I can tell, obviously. And we don't have the cat to spend money on either. All right. So we're going to put that back to the side. Now we're going to come in. So most of the envelopes I made, I did, I found the Budget Mom. And the Budget Mom has some free resources that you can have if you sign up for her newsletter, and I did. And this is one that I absolutely love. So I printed it, cost me ink. Um, I try to be frugal where I can, but there are some things that I don't mind splurging on. Ink is one of them. So because of that, this envelope looks a little different. So family birthdays, there are six of us in our family. Everybody gets a $100 bill for their birthday. Um, so we... I lost my pen, there's my pen. Um, my husband's check typically takes care of all of the family birthdays. However, I have decided to start putting a little bit extra in from my daughter's check or from what my daughter gives us as a buffer. So like I get birthday cards for us so, and it pays for that. Um, the youngest still lives in the house. Honestly, we'll spend more than $100 because he still lives in the house. So this kind of helps gives in that extra buffer. So 160 is what should be in there, 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, yay, matches up how it should. Let's put that back in there. All right, let me mark those off because I forgot to do that and we don't want to forget that. Next up is tag. So let's jump way back to tag renewal. She also gives us money, um, a little bit of money for her tag. So when it's time for her tag to come due, she doesn't have to worry about it and it is all taken care of. All right, so let's add today's date. Another $5 is what's gonna go in there. So that should give me $37. Grab my five. 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. Yay, matches up. Love it when that happens. Um, tag renewal, I can't say enough, it saved me this year. It was very nice. Um, tags aren't due. Uh, weren't due. Um, I was actually able to come in, raid the tag renewal envelope two months early, had everything we needed inside of there. So stinking excited that it wasn't a bill that I had to go, oh, where's that money coming from? It was already stuffed and saved in here. And I absolutely loved that. All right, up next is vacation gas. So we have an RV. We love to go out in the summer. Um, because of that, uh, gas gets a little expensive, especially when my husband's truck only gets like 10 miles to the gallon. So because of that, I try to have a little bit extra stashed to the side for us to have vacation gas money. The goal is to get to $400 before summer. I don't think it's going to happen, mostly because I haven't been putting money in it. Let's be real here. I haven't been putting money in it. All right, so there should be $345. Again, I have... 300 in the bank working, yay! 1, 2, 300, 320, 330, 340, 345. That matches. So trying hard to have some extra gas money, and now that gas prices are just outrageous, um, this will definitely come in handy the summer when we go out in the RV. Um, up next is video equipment. 
Um, I would love to get some video, real video equipment instead of using my phone. Right now, that's what we're using, is what it is. Um, we're gonna add 10 more dollars. And I can't add all of a sudden, which gives me 115, I said 10, yes. And again, we have money in the bank working. I get interest rates aren't a lot and they aren't very much. However, any percentage is better than zero percentage of what's getting stuck here. So 100, 110, 115, that matches. All right, let me check that off. Next up is my 25th anniversary. She's gonna stuff a little bit of money into there. We're going to put $10 into here. Um, next year, my husband and I celebrate 25 years of marriage. Yay! So stinking excited. We'd like to do something a little extra. Because of that, I've created an anniversary envelope. Um, not a lot goes into it, not very often. It's okay. Um, my attitude is anything is better than nothing. All right, so there should be $85 in here. 50, 70, 85. All right. And next up is savings challenge money. So we're gonna come back to the savings challenges. Um, her check, or the money that she gives us, I take, I actually take 100 of it, and I'm gonna put into the Save 2022, that one month ahead account, that one month ahead savings fund, um, to help really bolster it up. All right. So that actually is all of her check. Now it's time for me to go into my mileage check. So I drive all over the district I am. I work with pre-service teachers because I drive. Um, I do get a mileage check. I try to be responsible with that check and not just go blow it on random things. So I've actually tried, okay, that's a lie. There have been months where it just was we spent too much money and it was the only way to catch up. There have been months where I bought things I probably shouldn't have bought and my mileage check paid for it, but I do try really hard to be responsible when I can. And this is one of those months when I'm being very responsible. So I broke it up into different components and pieces. Gas. So my new car gets great gas mileage. However, I'm coming off of a 17 gallon, 18 gallon tank down to a 10, 11 gallon tank. Holy cow. Um, I didn't know that I was gonna have to fill the car up like every week. So because of that, I'm having to stop at the gas station a little bit more with the prices of gas going up. I'm spending a lot more. So I've actually decided, oh, I don't know why, to do something really responsible. I know, shame on me. And actually I'm gonna take 50 of this dollars and put it into my gas savings envelope, or my gas cash envelope to help buffer some of the skyrocketing gas prices. So um, 20, 40, $50. There is money in here. Um, I actually, I make my credit card work for me. So I, put money, I, I charge things and then I pay it. I pay it multiple times in a month. So I know that some of this has already been spent on gas that I just haven't paid the credit card yet. So it looks like there's a lot more in here. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 99, 192. I know there really isn't $92 in here. I feel like I've spent 50 at the last time I went. I know for my 10 gallon tank, so outrageous. Um, all right, so let's put gas back to the side. So mark that off. I'm gonna move some of it over into investing. Next up is the big one. It's my debt pay down. I'm gonna take some of this and put it into debt pay down. Cause again, I'm trying really hard to bring this down as fast as I can. So there was 625, I'm gonna put in 75 more. Oh, score. That brings me up to $700. So I said 75. 50. Hmm. Let's actually go break the gas money up. Because I don't. Yeah. 20, 40, 50. Or a 50. I think I might have asked for the wrong amounts at the bank. All right. So let's put this back in here. All right. So what? I said 70. So 50, 60, 70, five dollars, which should give me 
50, 70. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, 600, 650, 670, 690, 695, 700. That works. Score. This is all headed towards the RV payment. All right, so let's actually go ahead and we'll put it away later. It'll be fine. All right, so I know that one's done. So debt pay down got its extra money. And now we're going to put money into savings challenges is what we're going to do. Why do I have an extra $100 bill, guys? I should not have a $100 bill. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm going to have to investigate that when I get done. back up a page. Did I forget to put $100 somewhere? I did. I know what that's for. Never mind. Okay. All right. So let's come back to savings challenges. All right. So we're just going to kind of go in order. So my nickel challenge, which is for my emergency, is going to get $5. Let's mark these off as we go down the list. My 25 cent challenge, so this is a 52 week challenge, is also going to get $5. My 50 cents challenge which is also another 52-week challenge, is going to get $5. My $1 challenge, which is for Christmas, is going to get $10. All right, who's next? Home Improvement is going to get $5. My Alphabet Challenge is going to get $5. I have a holiday challenge. It is going to get $5 as well. And then last, my one month ahead is going to get $30. So 20, 30. Let's stick this all in here real quick. And that can go to the back. Oh, it doesn't go in the back yet. Yes, it does. It goes in the back now. All right, let's stick those away in just a minute. So this hundred, I forgot. I am going to be starting, well, I'm not starting. I am going to be putting money into um, an extra space, I guess you could say. So I, I told you I reuse envelopes. Um, I want to have this is for the electric so this is going to be extra bill money is really what this is going to be so we live in northeast florida um, my electric i try to budget 250 dollars it's probably the only variable uh, bill that i do have every month because of that, um, there are some months that we go over that 250. Most months we are under, well under. And this is one of those months where we were well under. So our electric bill was only 149. I decided to take that extra 100 and instead of breaking it up and putting it into sinking funds, I've decided that I want to have this extra 100 just in case something happens and all of a sudden the electric bill is $300. Um, with everything going up, you never know what's going to happen with any of it. So because of that, I want to make sure that I have a little bit of a buffer room inside of there. I don't want to leave it in the bank. I want to intentionally have it out so I know where to find it. So, sorry I disappeared for a minute. I forgot totally that I wanted to do this. So I had to grab a little tracking sheet. Um, this is just label it so I know what it is. This is something that I am going to make sure I keep an eye, an eye on to make sure this hundred doesn't get pulled for something else. So we're going to add today's date, add a hundred for the electric, which gives us an extra $100. And this for the most part won't ever see the light of day, but it's nice to know that I have that hanging out there. It's a little different than the emergency fund. Oh, so that was a lot. It was $635, all stuffed inside of all of my envelopes. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please take a second, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you 
Have a great day. Bye, guys.